you feel stuck on the drum kit? Like no matter what you do, you can't make progress? Well, trust me, I've been there before too. It can be so frustrating practicing the same thing over and over again just to keep failing. But the good news is there's a better way to get better. Today I'm gonna talk about seven things that are keeping you stuck on the drums and how to overcome them. Hello my beautiful friends, Gabe here from drumbeatsonline.com and welcome to lesson number one of my brand new free four part workshop called the Master Drummer Roadmap. All right, so the first thing and a very important thing that is holding most drummers back is they are completely overwhelmed by all of the information that is coming their way on a day-to-day -day basis. Most of us are hearing a million different things from a million different drummers who have no idea where we're at in our skill level or what our goals are behind the kit. I call this the more, more, more method because sometimes people think if I just get more and more and more, that that's gonna help me make progress. But guess what? It's actually the opposite. When we are searching on YouTube for a bunch of different things to help us get better, we're gonna hear a lot of inconsistent messaging. This is gonna lead to really scattered practice, which ultimately will lead you to the dreaded drumming rut. You know, that feeling where you sit behind the kit and it's just not feeling right. You are not feeling like you are getting better. And all of this leads to confusion, overwhelm, frustration, and zero progress on the drum set. This would be like me walking into the gym and trying one or two reps of every single exercise and wondering why I'm not getting any stronger. And we talk about how to fix this in the next point. The second thing that's keeping most drummers stuck is they have no path. As we just talked about with the more, more, more method, we're feeling completely overwhelmed and directionless in our drumming. And that is where the new way of learning drums comes in and that is the DBO drumming path. This completely takes the mystery out of how to become a better drummer. Because once you have a path to follow, you get direction in your drumming, which allows you to create constant progress on the drums without any of the distractions holding you back. For example, if I'm trying to get a black belt, I'm not just trying to learn how to kick and punch better. That's not really gonna do much for me. I need to follow a path to reach my end goal of being a black belt and hit each goal and milestone along the way. And the same thing is true for drums. If you're trying to become a master drummer or just improve your hobby, you need specific goals and milestones and action steps to guide you along your drumming path so that you can make that progress. Now the DBO drumming path will guide you step by step through your journey to make that consistent progress, whether you are just picking up sticks for the very first time or you have been drumming for decades. This will allow you to go from frustration to freedom on the drum set, which will finally allow you to have that confidence to play in front of your friends and family, play live at church, or even play live with bands and just have more fun playing drums. Because life is way too short to waste time practicing things that don't work and to feel that frustration on the kit. Now my online drum school DBO Academy is powered by the DBO drumming path and this is how you can finally start to get direction in your drumming as well. Doors are opening on August 16th and there are only 800 spots available. They all sold out last time. So if you want to secure your spot and get access a day before the rest of the public, you can click right up here to join the early bird wait list. And the question that I'm getting a lot with DBO Academy is how long is the program and how often often do I need to be watching the lessons? And the beautiful thing about it is you can completely go at your own pace. There are plenty of lessons laid out in your own drumming path that you can come to whenever you want. You'll never have to worry about missing a lesson or not being on time for a lesson. Even all of our live lessons will be up for you to watch forever so you can completely go as fast or as slow through your drumming path as you want. But now let's talk about your beats and fills. Most drummers are learning too many beats and fills rather than perfecting the really simple concepts that they can apply to the kit in a ton of different ways. For example, if you're learning a really specific fill that can only be played one way, well, there's not much you can do with it. As opposed to perfecting something as simple as single strokes and messing around with accents, like accenting the first note of every beat or maybe the first two notes of every beat or maybe every third note. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Fifth thing keeping most drummers stuck is not having a teacher. I think sometimes our pride can get in the way where we think, 
I can figure it out. Trust me, I've done this with way too many things around my house. But one thing I don't do it in is my drumming because I take it really seriously and I want to get the most progress in the shortest amount of time. But the thing we have to be careful of with the more, more, more method is having too many teachers, right? If we have a million different teachers telling us a million different things, well, then we are going to be overwhelmed. We are gonna be stuck in one place. So generally it's good to have one teacher and mentor who's guiding you through your path, which is why with the DBO drumming path, we really value that consistency so that you can have a consistent message and a consistent person guiding you along your path. Because in DBO Academy, we believe that that back and forth is so important to have that communication with each other. And that's what really helps people grow. But now let's talk about the sixth thing holding drummers back and it has to do with our hands. The sixth thing keeping most drummers stuck is their lack of technique. So let's address this right off the bat. When it comes to holding your stick, I want you to hold it with the first knuckle of your pointer finger and your thumb. This is your fulcrum. This is really where you're holding the stick. The rest of your fingers just kind of rest on the stick like this. One way to know if you're holding the stick too tight is that there's no gap between your thumb and your pointer finger or you're holding like this. Don't do that. If you are holding it correctly, you might have a little bit of a gap here. It doesn't need to be huge, but it shows that you're loose and you're able to use your fingers. When it comes to hitting the drum, a lot of drummers are all wrists or all arms, which again leads to a lot of tension. The way I hit my drums is with the molar method. So basically I think of hitting my drum kind of like a whip. So when I'm bringing my arm up, my wrist is actually pointing down with my hand. But then as I'm bringing my arm down towards the drum, my hand kind of comes up just like you are whipping a whip. And that is the best way to get the best rebound and the best sound out of your drums. Now, the hard part about technique for a lot of drummers is using your fingers. So a great exercise for this is working on something called the push pull technique where you push the stick down so it points up and then you pull with your fingers. So push, pull, push, pull, just like you are dribbling a basketball. So the exercise I want you to do here is called push pull eights, where you do push pull technique eight times on each hand. And it sounds like this. The seventh thing that holds most drummers back is they aren't working on things to completion. So if you're practicing paradiddles, you might learn how to actually play the pattern, but then what? So many of us drummers don't have goals to hit, or if we do, it's not a complete picture of it. If you set a tempo goal for your paradiddles to go to 150 BPM, now you are spending a lot more time perfecting this single rudiment, which is going to take you so much farther in the long run. But remember, we don't only wanna hit a single tempo, we want this to feel good. Like we could walk on stage and play this. That's when you know when you've hit your mark. That's why in DBO Academy, we not only have tempo goals for every single exercise that you are going to complete, but we also have play along practice videos so that you can actually practice the beat filler exercise along with me. So there are seven ways to get unstuck stuck on the drum set, the most powerful tool being the DBO drumming path. And this is what DBO Academy is powered around. Now remember, doors are opening on August 16th and there are only 800 spots available. So click right up here to join the early bird waitlist so you can finally start feeling freedom in your drumming. 